so since we are talking concepts from psychology i have had a question which has caused quite an amount of confusion and conflict in my understanding uh, when it comes to spirituality and psychology um uh, it's a concept from psychology which is called uh, dissociation of the self which is an occurrence that happens as a response to trauma a uh, response to abuse response to stress where you kind of detach from your feelings and your sensations in that moment of trauma uh and go into this another state of mind you know and well they say that this is very very harmful to mental health and uh, it can lead to different kinds of disorders because this kind of uh, dissociation manifests in very uh, unhealthy ways in other situations and things like that um so my confusion is here when we talk about the witness perspective and um the super consciousness and all of that it sounds similar to me in certain ways to dissociation yet i feel there is a huge crucial difference between these two uh states of being can you help me understand what is that difference now the only possible the only possibility is you have to work on it intellectually i can say about it a lot maybe but it will not uh give an experience for the person this is i'm talking from an experiential level and that needs to be experienced actually and uh, then we can talk about it but uh, it will not be understood by talking the only possibility to know this is to intensely i actually i should say plunge into our inner world and relax that with an observation very passive observation and continuously look then everything that is happening in our mind will be understood by the one who is watching that's you and that's the only possibility that is actually no other possibility it is very um, i should say subjective but at the same time a similar experience can come to another person when he gets that so there is a possibility to generalize in this way by uh, listening or asking the people what is happening in them when they were in that state but after a little time there may be no recording taking place mm-hmm. the person is awake but there is no memory recording takes place because there is nothing happening there so we cannot also explain what is happening it's not sleep. it is not sleeping but it is absolute relaxation with not even recording take place there can the difference between the um pathogenic dissociation uh-huh. and dissociation that we experience in meditation can it be that one is entered through a trigger but not consciously why in meditation you enter into the state consciously yeah in in meditation we are consciously entering there consciously entering there with absolute relaxation this is a strange combination usually in sleep we get into a absolute rest possible rest but we are not conscious here we are very conscious and we are very relaxed and we have to generate such a state that state is called meditation 
resting with awareness. We have to rest with awareness. And nothing else. That's why I often ask to the people who are sitting in front of me not to go into analysis, which is one of the basic functions of the conscious mind. The second function is synthesis, knowledge formulation. The third function is concept making. And I constantly suggest him not to go there. Just be a witness of what the mind is doing. No analysis, no synthesis. Just restfully sitting and watch. That's the only possibility. When we are restfully watching, then you will, you will see very clearly what's going on. If you are restless, certainly you won't see anything that is taking place. So that's why restful alertness is the, is the, is the is a great possibility that we can make, anybody can do that. For that, we have to adjust our life and then get into that state, rest fully and be alert. Then we see what the body is doing, what the mind is doing, and all the subtle functions which we usually don't see will also be visible for us. And then we understand everything that is happening in our mind. That's the only possibility. So we are consciously dragging ourselves into the state of witnessing with relaxation. And then you will understand what the mind is showing what the mind is thinking, how it is programming, everything you will understand. There will be no secret. The only person who knows all these things is we ourselves. And so that our focus is there. So we will see everything that is happening. We are not going to interpret it. We are not going to justify it. We are not going to even to, to understand it. You are just watching. And then integration takes place. That's the only possibility. So I strongly suggest to take time if you are so much interested in knowing your inner world, there is actually no book or no text can support us. It becomes very meaningless, all the books. And even the teachings are becoming meaningless because you are the greatest master of yourself. Everything is happening inside you. And you have the capacity to look. So by looking, the book will be revealed. And you will be very confident what is going on in you. Maybe different for a different person. But we can only read our, our own book and nothing more is possible. So we have to keep alertness and then relaxingly watch our mind. So it will reveal all the conscious functions. There will be no secret there. Everything will be revealed. We will see. That's what I said. It is revealed. We will see everything. But if you are not consciously Looking at it, we will not understand anything. Like what we do now, we will continue to the end of our life. So that's why we have to focus with consciousness alongside with the relaxation. And then we will understand what's going on inside. There is no big secret going on. There. Everything is shown all the time. As we are not watching it, we are not seeing it. But it's a significance of getting into the witness more. It's not analysis, it's not synthesis. It's just watching. That's why it's easier. Also. There is no other way to understand our inner world. No book can reveal the secrets which is there inside each and every one of us. 
and the functions will be made clear in the very beginning itself. The functions are common. Everybody is perceiving things, analyzing things, making judgments, making concepts, identifying with that, suffering, enjoying, and feel that you are somebody. This is the function. And that function will be understood fully, that your mind cannot cheat you. There is no secret. If the mind moves, you understand immediately. And that's the way of learning this area. There is no other way, there is no book. Then those people who have seen it before, they have written down many books. It doesn't mean that when you go there, you will have the same experience. With regard to the function, you will understand that the function is the same. But how it is going to project before you is something that you have to see then and there. Maybe sometimes when the memory shoots up or the conflict starts to project, for a person it will be just like a simple thing. For some people, it can be really tremendously strong and disastrous. Panic, crisis, heat, unbearable sensations. Maybe for another person, it may be not like that. Then we cannot say anything about it, how it is going to be for another person. We can only understand what's happening in you. So I strongly say that if we have the mind and keep our mind in a relaxed state, then continue observing with the relaxation, all the functions will be revealed. Including all the hidden stuff which we otherwise don't know what is there in the content. Everything will be protected. And that's the only possibility.